Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Tempered Steel Heavy Tank Mission 15 is what he's after. And he's playing that old Faithful. Is it Faithful? It's the T-32, a platoon of T-32s. I can't say this guy's name, but shout out to you and your clan. <laughs> We're going to feature a T-32 American Heavy and then a more modern American heavy and this guy's gonna have guys T32 every dog can have his day look what he's got there he's got hardening gun rammer and then that weird I don't even understand oh he switched he's, he's flipping his equipment he's got some special combo equipment I don't even know how it works yet but the you know the new equipment weird combination thing he's got something going on he's got a whole lot of something going on He's playing, is there an artillery? Oh, there's one artillery. Big, slow, heavy tank on mines. North spawn, he's got to move to the middle. Artillery will be shitting on him. But how you guys doing? You doing well? Having a great day? Are you? It's going to get better. Just watch. If a T-32 can work its way up. Oh, he was going to go up the hill, but he decided not to because of that guy the Bisonte who bounces on his turret bounces on his turret again and gets penned twice with regular ammo 218 pen 320 damage and the premium ammo has 252 pen he's not gonna risk oh and he just a critical damage on the ARL which has less armor what who what where how oh through the turret is he gonna go for the hill is he gonna go for he's going for the hill okay he's gonna and he made it but no he's gonna linger and he missed oh he took a chance there he took a chance but he made it up the hill if a slow tank like this can make it up the hill this map is not balanced right look at the mini map this whole side is open you see over here i'm pointing at the mini map maybe some of the enemies were smart enough to go down here and take a position at around c8 c7 if that's happened then maybe the enemies can come around and flank them but uh, we don't know whether they just are not spotted or what's going on but he boom he two shots a tier six poor tier six what's a tier six doing fighting a t32 oh there's a kv1s has moved up there and there's a vk3002 and an su100 m1 so the enemies did move up this way there's only a kv2 at the base there's no one in the sniper See the little sniper cubby hole there at A4? There's no one there. So they are surrounded. The enemies have a little bit of an advantage here, but these guys are on the hill. So let's see what they can do. His teammate in the T32 just pumped a shot into this VK and he has the gun depression to give him some more gun depression. Looking down on you. Looking down on you. No tank has more. <laughs> They've won the hill, buddy. What are you doing there? When they, they have won the hill, there's no point coming around the corner. Now, if they had stayed, let me show you here. If they had stayed in here, they might have posed a problem for these guys on the hill, but they did not. 5-4, easy peasy. And just like that, he's got 2,000 damage done. Gets back up on the hill, and he's going to peer over this corner in the bush to see if he can see someone or maybe he can shoot someone he does not want to get proxy spotted because then he'll get shot by the campers he has not been proxy spotted oh yes is3 oh, i'd love to take out an is3 yeah <laughs> he's shooting nothing but regular ammo guys playing a t32 and shooting nothing but regular ammo let's clap clap for the wolf man he gonna hit that e25 <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Clap for the Wolfman. He gonna shoot him till the day he dies. Come on! Oh yeah! Oh, he missed it. <laughs> All right. Well, six six, losing by almost three thousand HP. It's not going well. How do, how are they losing by almost six thousand eight or three thousand HP? Why don't you poke the other bush over there? And see if you can see the artillery or anyone else. He did not poke that. I'm surprised. He could have just poked it just to see. 
but he chooses to go around this way. Why? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, why would you go this way? Your team has this covered for now, anyway. And uh, now you're leaving. Eh, I don't know. I'm not sure why he did that. I would have poked the bush. <clears throat> now you won't know if someone comes up the hill behind you. There is that. Be careful when you go around this corner. Be careful when you go around this corner. Be careful when you go around this corner. And he's okay. He's okay. Oh, 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 and there is a hell. He spotted a Hellcat. See, so good. Poking bushes is good. Forget about the Hellcat. Kill the tiger. Okay, shoot the Hellcat. <laughs> like, oh, and your teammate exploded, and the Hellcat does not know what he's doing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how? Shoot the tiger. Oh, the tiger is scared. He's pooping his little diaper. Let your teammate handle. Oh, there, there he comes. There he comes. There he comes. It's a Besante who misses because it's a Besante. <laughs> Oh, artillery shell coming! Boom! You know exactly where the artillery is now. Right in there. Go poke. Oh, he's got to go back now because of two E25s. Two E25s. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! He did not get hit. Boom! Oh, there's two of them up there. There's an SU-130. Oh, that was bad. That was bad, 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 bad. Take him, take him, take him. He's got to shoot now and back up. Get hull down. Oh boy, oh, he's in big trouble. It's just the two T-32s, guys. Two, actually two, two, two. And uh, he goes off the hill. He gets shot in the back by the E-25. He'd rather get shot by an E-25 than those big guys. He's He got off the hill. Oh, he's getting hit by the E-25. He's got to get into cover. He's got to get in. Oh, he's got hit again by the E-25. He's auto-locked on the SU-130 PM. He goes, uh, he's... He's between a rock and a hard place. Boom, he shot. Back up, 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 back up. He's backed up, back up, back up, back up. Take take another shot, take another shot. Take a chance, take a chance. He's, uh, come on, he's, he's, he's using the dead tank. He got shot in the track. Shoot him! Why are you changing ammunition now? Okay, I don't know what he did there. He got, he changed to HE and he actually rolled lower than most of his other rolls. And he took time doing it, which was a huge mistake. Why would you bother doing that? Just take your shot if you got the shell load. That time he rolled 386. He bounces the shot from the SU. Take out the guy with the big gun. Take out the guy with the big gun. Or track that guy. I would have taken out the guy with the big gun. Why didn't you take out the guy with the big gun? Now the big gun is reloaded. The big gun's aiming at you. Hey, but he took out the guy with the big gun. That's good. The artillery's still aiming. His gun is destroyed. He has to shoot this guy again in the track wheel. Got him in the track wheel. Bounce the shot. Bounce the shot. Bounce the shot. He bounced the shot. And he can... Take them out! They're knocked out! Artillery shell coming in three, two, one. Oh no, there's, there's a whole bunch of them. He came around the corner, there's a whole bunch of them. Take out the 25. Take out the 25. Use your. Just. Just take out the 25. Take out the. Boom! Now take out the other. Oh, 15 seconds. He's got to reset. Uh, the, uh, the Skoda has three shots, doesn't he? Boom, take him, ram him! He got him! Okay, now go reset. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. No! The E25 stayed invisible just long enough for him to lose the game because Wargaming wanted him to lose. And as soon as the game was officially lost, then the E25 appeared. He killed the E25. And that's all you get! <laughs> 8,047 damage, 10 kills, a bunch of zeros, and a slight little profit. What a great opportunity to have the game of your life when you're a tier 8 heavy tank in matchmaking with tier 6s. And what a heartbreak that was. But now, there's a renegade. There's a renegade in the same situation, tier 6 game. Now, is the renegade a better tank? I think the answer is yes, but I don't think it's the turret that makes the Renegade better. I think it's the gun that makes the Renegade better. I think the T-32 turret is still better. 
And if they gave the T-32 the renegade gun, that T-32 would be almost godlike still. Alas, it does not have the renegade gun, which, as you can see, has 360 often 255 APCR. He's got nothing but premium loader. What is this stuff? Yeah, the regular pen is 226. He's got nothing but premium loaded. But it, it's just a better gun handling, better overall shooting, better alpha. It's just it's just a little better, uh, you know, because it's newer. <laughs> the, the, the only reason is because it's newer, and they didn't um, they didn't buff the T T thirty two when the new ones came out. The T thirty two needs this gun, I think. If, if the T thirty two had this gun, I'd play it again. <laughs> this gun seems to just. It's the gun handling, really. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> da, da, Yuri, here's this one new tank. It's very powerful. It's not new. It's newer. <laughs> but it's the gun handling. When you move the turret, when you uh, move the hull, when you go forward or back, there's less bloom. There's less deviation within the aiming circle. It's just... Uh, it just it feels better. Everything about the gun is better. The turret's not as strong because, uh, well, you got a big Tuma. This, this has a big Tuma. T32 does not have a big Tuma. <laughs> it's not a Tuma. Oh, I, for a minute there, I thought he exploded. <laughs> just take him right there. Exactly 360. He's rolling almost exactly on his uh, Alpha, which is good. Oh, well, take him out. Oh, the VK! Let's, oh, see, look, guys. Look as he takes. Look, look. It's not a tumor. <laughs> and on a T32, that might, might as, probably would have bounced, right? The T32 turret is smaller as well. On a ridge line at mid range, with a little bit of, you put a little bit of, like, look at that. The T32 cannot do that. What he just did. At a little bit of range, if you're hull down and you just poke that ridge line in a T32, um, it's it's hard. To, you know, the turret's small. It's hard to hit. It's powerful. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But hey, snap! Armor not hit. He just snapped that shot out of nowhere. I don't even know how it possibly hit. Yeah, okay. The Panther, come on, Panther. You want to play, Panther? I dare you to poke again, Panther. And now uh, that T-3485 wants to get killed. T-3485 wants to get killed. Just snap him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You did not hit him. Just as I was talking about the good gun handling, you didn't hit him. So he can back that. Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's a pleasure to play these newer uh, American tanks. I wish they'd buff the T-32. I wish they'd buff the uh, gun handling. Not not every, anything else. Just the gun handling. I'd play it again. Oh! Now aim better. Bounced on the visa, but he's he's playing like a boss, isn't he? Look, at, he's using his gun depression. He's making himself uh, a difficult target to hit. The only guys that are able to damage him if they're close, snap them. If they're close and they can aim for that tumor, and that's what the VK did. But now he's gonna make him pay for his stupidity going around the corner. Oh, he he, he did it quickly because he didn't want to get hit in return. There's three tanks there, which is smart. KV2, uh, you know, he ain't gonna do nothing, KV2. He ain't gonna do nothing. HE's been nerfed, KV2. <laughs> Go back to the garage. Another tank that, you know, once proud. Unfortunately, Wargaming said, no longer good. And so far, this guys he's close to 5,000 damage, holding this corner like a boss on his own. He's basically held it by himself. Oh, snap! How does that... Did you see him wiggling around his gun, yet the, the shot hits bullseye? Wow. Boom. It's just gun handling, man. It's just gun handling. Plus, he's shooting nothing but premium. That kind of... There's that as well, but... Gun handling, this is godlike gun handling, guys. Oh, I, just as I say it, shot disappear. <laughs> Where shot go? I don't know. Papa Daniel. Boom. Just, oh, <laughs> double tapped. Double tapped. 
E25 gets hit and then the artillery shell lands. His <laughs> no fun for you! Oh, he doesn't have the gun depression to shoot him. Good, 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 but out of the way. KV2. KV2 wants to come in and shoot him. But will the KV2 be able to? The KV2 is coming. Shoot! The KV2 is coming. He bounces the panther. He, he bounces the shot from the panther. He hits the panther. KV2 is aiming, 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 aiming. KV2 bounces 700 because it's a nerfed KV2. And KV2 dies. And he's going, shoot! 700, that means he was shooting an AP shell with a KV-2, which means he deserves to die. <laughs> 6,621 damage, guys, and he comes around the corner, he says, Hello, Panther. Goodbye, Panther. Jackson. How are you, Mr. Jackson? Mr. Jackson. <laughs> How are you feeling, Mr. Jackson? Oh, are you feeling it? While the Jackson was aiming, he snapped him. Mr. Jackson. Oh, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> Poor Mr. Jackson. And that's it. Easy. Easy peasy. That poor T-32 fought for his life. And now we're watching how easy it could have been. I have to say... Well, you know, this guy fought basically the whole enemy team, so he did it. T-32, I think the enemies that were fighting the T-32 in the first game were a little bit more coordinated. They, uh, yeah, because he had a platoon of T-32s that knew what they were doing. But, um, you know, snap them. This team, let's say, is a little bit more challenged. And sn snap! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Easy! Overall W8 is useless. That's his name. In the Renegade. 7,870 damage, 8 kills, 166,000 credits. Shooting nothing but uh, premium ammo, I believe. And it only took him 7.5 minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.